Hey everyone, what's up? Well, this is going to be a video just before the tarantula feeding video 95, so we can call it a little preliminary feeding video. Um, so, what do we have today? Oh, we got some special molds to share with you, as well as a new addition. Something very new in my collection, and I've never owned anything like this before. So, that's to the end of the video, but we have some nice cool molds to share with you. So, the very first molt that I got was from my last Eudora Kluge, uh, which is the Bahia Scarlet Bird Eater. Uh, this is Necroth. I named him after a character in Unreal Tournament. So, there he is. Yeah, approximately around 2 inches. Very nice tea. Now, as you see, I got a second molt. Huzzah! A pokey molt. And this one is a P. fasciata, Thomas, as I showed you uh, in my previous uh, feeding video, if he was featured. Uh, he was a penultimate male. And I knew he was a penultimate because he didn't really start to brown out now. Now you can really see him now. If I shine some light at him, you can see his abdomen brownish color, just like the uh, striata I sent to Mike. So I'm going to give uh, Joe, uh, Arachnoboards user um, Prometheus, since he wanted him. Yeah, he's a big boy. Uh, I can see he has his swelled up pedipalps. Pokey males uh, do not possess tubal hooks. So he's about pretty average size for a mature male. He's around, I would say he's a good four inches, four and a half. Yeah, females are eight, so he's a pretty small male. Just like the uh, Strata. Cool. Now, another pokey that molted. And this one is very beautiful and probably the most uh, prized one in my collection is a P. Metallica. Now, Mia molted like four or five months ago. I made a video on it. Now, I'm just going to film her again because she molted and she's a lot bigger now. Ugh, you won't be able to see her very well. There she is. There's the molt. And there is her. You can really see the blue on her legs. Uh, also, you can note the photo stripe. Look how nice, bright, and white it is. Indication that it is a female. I used to have a mature male named Sonic. Uh, unfortunately, uh, he passed away due to old age. Uh, he had a photo stripe that was much more darker than this one. But yeah, you can tell she's really blue. Cool. Alright, so that's it for this one. Now, we have another molt from one of my prized G. Rosea. Now, this is the red form that I raced ever since she was a sling. Uh, now, I thought it was for female. I called him Bloom, but then I saw his molt. It turned out to be a male. So, I named him after uh, my late grandfather, Morris Rose. I still miss him. Uh, bless his soul. Um, bless his heart, really. But, oh my god, he's huge. For a three-year-old specimen of Rosea, this is what they look like. They don't look like adults that you see at the pet store. But I really want to shine some light on it to show you what a true red form looks like in a male body. Yeah, this is a rose hair. Red form. You can note how dark he was from his old molt. And you can look at his new molts. Oh yeah. I can't wait for him to start eating again. Now, a lot of people have asked me about post molted teas, when to feed them. Usually when tarantulas molt, I leave them about a week for them to harden. Then I start to feed them. Also, you just check 
the fangs to see if they change color. Normally, uh, when, after a tarantula molts, it'll have translucent white fangs, and then it'll start to redden, and then finally turn a black color. Only when it's black that you'll be able to uh, feed them. Yeah, definitely not a mature male yet. He's probably got around two inches left to grow before he matures. And then I have a female named Lois after um, Family Guy, which is one of my favorite shows uh, next to American Dad, that I will uh, breed with. Hopefully get red forms in the hobby. Alright, now for a tarantula. No, I'm not a tarantula. It's an invert. Oh yes, I got my furry first centipede. I'm always creeped out, creeped out by these centipedes. I just don't know why. I think they just they just look creepy to me. But I really want to overcome my fear of them. So <laughs> all the more reason to try to own my very first one. Now, it, they are pretty similar to old world teas in care and in temperament wise. So I'm not going to handle it whatsoever. I am going to be very cautious because these are very, very fast moving um, critters, I would say. Yeah, critters is a nice word for it. Okay, so it is a little uh, peedling. You probably can see it in the video. I'm probably going to give you a close-up on the specimen without it trying to freak out. It is a very fast one. Now, I'm not sure what kind of species this is. I know it's a Scolopendra subspinibus, but usually with centipedes, they have like a third name attached to it. So I'm not sure if this is uh, it, but that's what it is. This is an Asian one, uh, possibly from Vietnam, that Angelo raised from his um, male and female. Oh yes, I'm definitely not sure uh, how to sex one, but that's what it looks like. So any ideas what species this might be? It's very nice. It's black with orange tips on both the uh, head and the tail. And it's probably around, I would say, a good two and a half inches. Uh, these centipedes are known to getting up to a nine inch leg span, so that's pretty big for a scorp uh, centipede. I would say scorpion. Yeah, that's my next purchase I'm going to be doing. Yeah, starting to get into the scorpions now. I'm starting to branch out with some inverts. And hopefully, maybe I'll get a... Uh, Nice cool pet too. Okay, make sure this is off. So, feeding video I'm going to be making tomorrow. Uh, because it's just too dark outside and I don't think I'll get any good lighting in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wake up bright and early, 7 a.m. or 7.30 a.m. and record it for you. And then I'll be editing it out and post it later on in the evening. So you'll see these two videos. And then hope you enjoy them. And then stay tuned for the all-important feeding video. And I'll guess I'll feature uh, this centipede as well as Jezebel, who's selling well in her enclosure. And that's pretty much it. So hope you enjoy it, everyone. And thanks for watching.